Right, hello everyone, it's Dave, M0OGY. We're uh, having a look at the new Vortex Antenna Systems Quasar 64. Uh, I showed you a little bit about this antenna on the uh, tail end of the Vortex 11 meter Slim Jim antenna, but uh, I've got it all built up. It's uh, hopefully within the next hour going up uh, on the uh, mount so uh, we'll be able to do a few on air tests so we've got it mounted on the 20 foot aluminium scaffold pole we're using the RF choke made by Vortex what we used on the Slim Jim it's running like a patch lead up to the feeder. Now this is how it's fed. You basically have a length of Westflex coaxial cable going into the bottom of the antenna which is a, a cut length specifically for the band. Then you've got a T-piece um, obviously it's all uh, self amalgamated taped up uh, ready for install but that's just a normal T-piece and then that's the matching device which is basically a length of a coax of an exact length that's shorted out at that end it does have a red cover under there but to, again I've self amalgamated taped it as I showed you before extremely well made aluminium channel for the mount it's got four nine foot radials for the ground plane which is sturdily mounted this is a new design uh, when Steve who owns Vortex came up here if you can see that it's obviously got to be have a link piece or the vertical radiator doesn't short out to the uh, ground plane so it's got a solid piece of fiberglass in there uh, when it came I, I thought it wasn't as strong as it maybe ought to have been it's very strong but uh, being an engineer myself uh, it's uh, far better to be a bit belt and braces I feel than not so we came up with this uh, what I feel is quite a superb idea, it's got some aluminium clamps, one at each side with some uh, nylon staff clamps to strengthen it there, so uh, rock solid, that won't move the sticker, in fact that didn't come with that, I had a, a bunch of these from uh, an old Cushcraft uh, antenna, so I put that on again uh, warning sticker uh, as many people have uh, found out uh, it's not uh, the best thing to put antennas up near power cables so um, maybe uh, that ought to be included as well but I've just stuck one on that I had anyway so uh, there you go, I don't think it's a legal requirement but certainly uh, a good idea right so there's the fourth ground radial uh, I'll have to raise it up somehow and get the last one on as it's uh, been built up on the trusty uh, workmate and trestles. So, we've self amalgamated everything up. I really do go over the top with that because uh, the slightest bit of damp and bad weather it'll kill the connectors are we glad to get this antenna up as my grass certainly needs cutting and it's been here a few weeks now on and off I keep doing a bit to it when I've got a chance at a weekend but, uh, 
I've got other things going on so hopefully we'll get it up in the sky within the next hour or two and I'll show you it installed and do some on-air testing with it so we'll catch you in a bit <laughs> 